grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. God the Father forgives us in Christ and heals us by the Holy Spirit. Let us therefore put away all anger and bitterness, all slander and malice, and confess our sins to God our Redeemer. Father, you come to meet us when we return to you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, you died on the cross for our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Spirit, you give us life and peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the God of love and power forgive you and free you from your sins, heal and strengthen you by his Spirit, and raise you to new life in Christ our Lord. Let us pray. God of truth, help us to keep your law of love and to walk in ways of wisdom that we may find true life in Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. A reading from the book of Hosea. I will return again to my place until they acknowledge their guilt and seek my face. In their distress they will beg my favour. Come, let us return to the Lord, for it is he who has torn, and he will heal us. He has struck us down, and he will bind us up. After two days he will revive us. On the third day he will raise us up, that we may live before him. Let us know, let us press on to know the Lord. His appearance is as sure as the dawn. He will come to us like the showers, like the spring rains that water the earth. What shall I do with you, O Ephraim? What shall I do with you, O Judah? Your love is like a morning cloud, like the dew that goes away early. Therefore I have hewn them by the prophets, I have killed them by the words of my mouth, and my judgment goes forth as the light. For I desire steadfast love and not sacrifice, the knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. This is the word of the Lord. Oh Jesus, I have promised to serve you to the end. Give our forever If thou art by my side, no wonder from the pathway, if thou wilt be my God. Oh, let 
lets me see thee near me. The world is ever near. I see the sights that dazzle, the tempting sounds I hear. My thoughts are Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax booth, and he said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. And as he sat at dinner in the house, many tax collectors and sinners came and were sitting with him and his disciples. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? But when he heard this, he said, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. Go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. For I have come to call not the righteous, but sinners. While he was saying these things to them, suddenly a leader of the synagogue came in and knelt before him, saying, My daughter has just died, but come and lay your hand on her and she will live. And Jesus got up and followed him with his disciples. Then suddenly a woman who had been suffering from hemorrhages for twelve years came up behind him and touched the fringe of his cloak. For she said to herself, If I only touch his cloak, I will be made well. Jesus turned and seeing her, he said, Take heart, daughter, your faith has made you well. And instantly the woman was made well. When Jesus came to the leader's house and saw the flute players and the crowd making a commotion, he said, Go away, for the girl is not dead but sleeping. And they laughed at him. But when the crowd had been put outside, he went in and took her by the hand, and the girl got up. And the report of this spread throughout that district. This is the Gospel of the Lord. May the words of my lips and the meditations of all our hearts be now and always acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. It is not the well who require a physician, but the sick. And yet it's not always the sick who get the physician. I don't know what you're like, but Leslie and I aren't great at going to the doctors. Um, I think nearly 10 years is probably our record for not taking something to the doctor. And the reason that I raise this is 
At one level, the saying in today's reading suggests that in some way um, the tax collectors and others were the sick, the sinners. And yet Jesus says they are the people he came for. And yet it would only be the ones who chose to go to him who would benefit from his healing touch. And if you look at the Pharisees, who are the ones who challenged him on this, they very much had a sort of an I'm all right, Jack, but you're the problem attitude. Um, they had codified all of the Old Testament laws and come up with sort of 613 bylaws and prided themselves on keeping those bylaws. And you see signs of this in uh, the Gospels where Jesus talks about things like tithing, dill and cumin, suggesting that they might keep the itty bitty little laws, but when it comes to the big issues, um, they're perhaps less good at keeping them. Whereas those who struggle for whatever reason to keep all of those bylaws might sometimes have a greater degree of qualities like perhaps compassion. And I think there was something about the society at the time and about the people who followed Jesus. The quality that he seemed to value was self-knowledge, an acceptance that people weren't perfect, that they were ill, that they did need a physician. And the people for whom he had less time were those who thought they were well and thought others were ill. And if you look at the second half of today's gospel, you see examples of that. You see the woman who had been bleeding for 12 years. She knew that she was ill and she looked to Jesus for healing. You look at uh, the man whose daughter had died and he knew that he needed help. And I think when we look at ourselves, the question is, do we think we are well or do we think we are ill? Can we cope by ourselves? Or do we need Jesus' help? I think I've said before in sermons that the time that I get most burnt out are the times when I forget that I am part of God's work and think that I've got to make whatever it is happen by myself. When I remember that I am part of God's work, life suddenly becomes a lot easier. Stella's just been looking at evangelism. And one of the things there is that we are, one of the modern theories is that we are taking part in the Missio Dei, God's work. And we have to find our part in that and join in. Evangelism isn't our work, but we do have a part to play. And it goes so much against today's society. Looking back, I recognise that at work I was a bit odd. Now, that might not come as a surprise to you, 
Um, but what I'm thinking of is if I started something and it was becoming very hard work, I would think, well, this can't be the right thing to do. And I'd stop doing it and do something else. Whereas most of the people in the working environment, once they had committed themselves to do something, they would run through a brick wall to make it happen, whether or not it was the right thing to do. And I think the reason I speak about this is because I still think I had sort of stumbled upon that joining in with God's work. in a way in which it was trying to pick out what was the right thing to do rather than me deciding what it was. And I think the challenge for all of us is to recognise that we are ill. We need God's help. We need Jesus' help. And having recognised that, to ask for it. And if over time we find ourselves becoming better, well even, the challenge is how we look at others. For me, the problem with the Pharisees was that they blamed everybody else. Whereas I think Jesus looked on everybody else with compassion. And the question is, can we look upon ourselves and others with compassion? Because for me, that is one of the things at the heart of the gospel. Amen. Let us declare our faith in God. We, we believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth, and earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. I danced in the morning when the world was begun. I danced in the moon and the stars and the sun. I came down from heaven and I danced all night.
let us pray. We pray that God's mercy, God's love without limit, may be made real in the world. For a world broken by sin, for nations at war, for the peace of Jerusalem, city of peace, Lord, in your mercy. For the church of the living God in every place, for the broken body of Christ on earth, for unity of faith and action, that together in love we may be good news. Lord, in your mercy. For all who feel that they are outsiders, for those whom we exclude from our fellowship for reasons of taste or culture, for all victims of open or hidden persecution, Lord, in your mercy. Father, Son and Holy Spirit, we pray for those in need, especially those who have asked for our prayers. And we pray for those who are grieving. And we remember those whose year's mind falls at this time. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for ourselves, asking that our lives may become full of the harmony and power of the Trinity and that our joy in you may flow over and bring others to share in your life. Lord, in your mercy. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. On earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins. As we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours. Now and forever. Amen. Blessed are the peacemakers, they shall be called the children of God. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the triune God be with you always. And also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you.
peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen.